Yo, what's goody? This is A Girl, and you're watching Get to Know on the Filter. Hey, I'm Jazz, and you're watching Get to Know on Filter. And with me today is a guest from Western Sydney. She's an amazing singer. Goes by the name A Girl. Hinanuli Tarangi and you said that so well. Doing <laughs> that, <laughs> respect. Um, yeah, it's a girl. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So last year was a massive year for you. You dropped a song two one four two. Since then, you've been releasing a lot of great music, but you've actually been singing for a really long time. Tell me about the reggae band that you oh, were in. Oh dang! <laughs> um, yeah, so we started up. Um, me and my mom started up a reggae band, a family reggae band. And I guess I kind of started it up because I wanted to sing and as Maldives we really don't know anything else but reggae so we were just like let's just start off a reggae band and my uncles could all play um, guitar, keys, piano, bass, drums like the whole the whole thing so um, it made perfect sense so we started it up and I was the lead singer of our reggae band at like 10 years old wow. and yeah and, and that's where I learned how to gig that's where I learned like mic control and just like performing in front of crowds and stuff was like at such a young age because we'd just go around to birthday parties or like family functions or anything that anybody had on and we'd just be like like here we are we're gonna sing now and yeah. so it was just like hectic stepping stones for me and I heard that you write a lot of music with your mum and your sister. Yeah. Yeah, tell me about that whole process. I just, I'm very, like, always have been very family orientated. So, like, it just makes sense to, like, when I go into the studio, write songs with my family. Like, they're there 24-7, you know, and mm -hmm. they, they're, like, like, they come in all the time and my sister's like, I'm bored. Like, let me write something. Let me do something while I'm here. I'm like, so, bet, let's do it then. Um, and it's really cool just writing music with your family, you know, because you get to... Um, they just understand you in a way that nobody else does. So mm -hmm. when you write music together, it's just like, it's real and authentic and it's just dope. Yeah, I love that. And there's um, a song that you have play. Mm -hmm. And I heard that your mom actually said, you know, that let's just be sexy with yeah, it, which I yeah. thought was so <laughs> cute. That she supports like every facet of who you are. 100%, yeah. We were in the studio and like, it was just such a sexy sort of beat that um, my producer was making. and. I don't know, I shy away, like I'm, I'm such a very shy person, so I shy away from doing stuff like that. And my mom's always pushing me like, yeah, yeah, be that, do that, go hard, do it. Like, yeah. And I was just like, all right, cool, like, let's try it then. And then we tried it. And even in the studio, you know, like while I was recording, I was giggling and I was just like, oh my God, this is so <laughs> awkward. But my mom was like, nah, you got this. So, you know, you've said that you're a little bit anxious, a little bit awkward, but I don't get that from you at all. Um, how do you reconcile feeling like that about yourself, but then being so confident when you're on stage performing? Yeah, it's just like, it's, it's like um, two personas. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a girl when I'm on stage. I'm a girl when I'm out networking with people and, you know, doing my business side of things. And then when I'm angel, it's kind of like the more introvert, shy, quiet side to myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I like both, to be honest. I like a girl. She's dope. She's like, she's loud. She's energetic. She's mm -hmm. confident. She's a boss. She, she get what she want. But angel also, um, she balances out the, like, the hypeness of what, what a girl is about. So uh, yeah, it's just like taking on and off two caps. Mm -hmm. And has being from the area like helped you with that kind of persona? 100% being mm -hmm. from the area um, has shaped me as a person so much. Not, not even like put, put, put aside being an artist, like just a person. Yeah. Um, being from where I'm from, it's just seeing the things that I see, growing up the way that I did, you know, speaking the, lang the language, the lingo that they do, um, it shaped me as a person hella and then like that flows into my music and flows into how I am as an artist mm -hmm. um, so yeah being from the area has definitely has definitely impacted my life you've released a couple of singles and you've also been featuring on some tracks you were on next to you with B Wise mm -hmm. which is amazing and um, you just jumped on like a version with Tucker Perry yeah. who also produced some of your songs um, what was that like? Because that was the rendition of Jesus Walks. And I know the first time I heard it, I got really emotional. So what was it like actually performing that? It was next level. Mm. Like even just being in the room, you know, like as a, as a Sydney artist, you watch Triple J, like a version all the time. Yeah. And you're just like, that's, that's, that's fucking cool. Like I want to be on that, you know, like I, I want to at one point get onto that. Mm -hmm. And just being in the building and going through the process of everything and then walking in there and seeing the room was next level. But yeah. then to know what we were about to perform and the message that it was going to portray mm -hmm. was next level. Yep. And then while doing it, 
it was like everybody's emotion was was there like the, you the, could the, feel you it could when you were rapping it. Yeah. you could feel it like being in the room itself it was next level and so i knew it was going to come across um on camera i knew it was going to come across when we released it so i was just so happy but like yeah even even though it was like because doing stuff during COVID is so weird right like mm. you have to have like limit the room to like four people you know what i mean so even though we had all of that going on um everybody still brought their vibe and energy and it was just absolutely perfect it was yeah. it was such a a dope thing to be a part of how did you guys choose that song um i think tucker went through um like a list of songs that he he kind of like already favored and already yeah. liked and went back and forth with like the triple j team mm -hmm. um and pick that one and funnily enough i did i don't even know the song like i don't even know jesus walks at all like mm -hmm. i i'd never heard it before so that's why i think it was kind of easy for me to jump on it because it yeah. was just like i could just write my own stuff to it um and like kind of weave in um kanye's lyrics and kanye's flow and stuff like that but um yeah it was just it was just such a dope thing to be a part of yeah and if you ever do a like a version yourself or you know do like a live lounge situation what would be the song that you'd want to do as a cover i've always said i either wanted to cover like um toxic by britney spears oh, cool. i love that song and like i just love I, I do a rendition of it like myself with my guitarist and it's just like it's so dope like, is that out anywhere nah it's not i only it? perform it live so if you ever catch me live then like you know that's cool. the one but um, it's either that or like something The weekend, 100%. Mm -hmm. Nice. And would you drop in a bit of like, would you have bars in there? Would you be rapping Hell all of yeah, it? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm trying to spit bars in like nearly everything that I do. Mm -hmm. Only because I just, I just, I've always had a passion for rapping. Yep. And um, it's just, it's just the time. Like, I'm, I'm just at that. I don't give a fuck stage. Um, I'm gonna just rap if I wanna rap, or I'm gonna sing if I wanna sing, or I'm gonna combine the two. So like, yeah, yeah definitely. I think I would have some bars in, in my own like a version. Cool, yeah, you're so fluid with it. You can like bounce in between the two. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's actually become like super, um, super easy to do. Like before, I could only write a rap mm -hmm. and couldn't write like a chorus or like something singing to go after it. Or I could only write a song and couldn't write a rap to follow it. But now it's kind of like I'm finding my flow and I'm finding a way to merge them together. So it's, it's a dope process. Nice. And your most recent release is Lola, mm. which I love so much. Like <laughs> the chorus is crazy. The lyrics are crazy. And then the switch up at the end. I love the switch up. Mm -hmm. Like it's my own song, but I have that up. I love the switch up. You need to listen you to that to. switch up. Yeah. <laughs> Is Lola your alter ego or something? Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. She's yep. she's um yeah she's my alter ego. The way that I wrote it was just like, um, for the first half of the song before the beat change, she's just like this boss bitch who just knows what she wants and gets what she wants and hustles for it and works hard, and her exterior is staunch and tough and mm -hmm. no one can break that. Um, but I kind of also wanted to show within it as well, um, the inner self of Lola and like how she's vulnerable, how mm -hmm. she's shy, how she's emotional, how she has those, all those qualities to her in one, um, which is why I incorporated the beat change because I felt like it just needed to go a little bit softer mm. from being such a staunch, you know, like da 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 da, this is Lola, this is Lola. It just needed to show that other side of me as well, just a little bit, just yeah. that last like 30, 40 seconds of the song. That's so nice. And I really like your style in the photo as well for the cover. <sighs> Crazy. I can't even express to you the way the video looks. <laughs> like, I can't. It's my, one of my favorite videos yeah, ever, ever. Yeah. The styling in it is on point. Oh, it's so exciting. Yeah, so style is obviously like a massive thing to you. Mm. If you could only wear one pair of sneakers for the rest of your life, what are they? Probably Cortez's. Oh, really? Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. I would have so clean. Air Forces. I'd like, they're, they're, they're nice. Like, yeah. I like Air Forces, but like... Yeah, Cortez's is just so, it's such an OG like shoe. Yeah. And it's so clean. You can wear it with any fit. They've got the red, they've got the, the blue and the red, they've got the black and the white, the white and the black, you know, like there's just so many Fresh. variations. Yeah, that's oh, true. Oh my gosh, I love Cortez's. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. And so, what can we expect from you in the future? What's the next drop? I think next drop is. Next drop is being talked about. Next drop is being shot. Next drop is being um, kind of, I'm, I'm very, being very, not careful, but just very precise yep. with what I want to drop next. Um, Cause I'm kind of trying to round up the sound that I'm doing now to kind of explore a new sound where I kind of bring in more bars, mm -hmm. um, more of like an R&B side to things. So we're trying to wrap up this sound that we have 
not in a way where it's just like I'm never going to do the sound again, but just in a way where it's just you know tie tie all the ends together, um, finish this project off, and then come out with not a new sound but just a sound that I'm working on now and yeah. that is um, showcasing where I'm at as an artist now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so intrigued. Is there anyone that you would like think would be a perfect match to jump on new music or are there any influences that are influencing like this new sound? I'm gonna just put it out there, chilling it, you know, like yes. it's just like, you know, hit me up, bruh. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> um, but for real, like I love chilling it so much. So if, I could, I, if I could get a track with him, done like no one else everybody else can just like you know kind of come along the way but like if there was one to be like right now yeah i could have anybody on a track with me chilling it so crazy gonna make it happen i'm gonna make it happen manifest <laughs> it manifest it exactly well so keen to hear the new music the new sound and thank you so much for the chat no, thank you so much it was awesome